y'all it is your girl Giovanna from vivacious beauties <laughs> but i'm only one beauty because the other beauty is not here welcome to the channel if you are unfamiliar with the channel go and watch all of renee and i's videos get familiar with who we are and like and comment and subscribe today's video is not really vlogmas related although this is a vlogmas um video i honestly I don't know what vlogmas is really supposed to be about other than what well, that was dumb that didn't make sense obviously it's a christmas related video but this one this particular what <laughs> this particular video is not a christmas related video i just made some uh crab wontons just know that just just keep watching <sighs> and enjoy the video man i'd be struggling too much <laughs> just subscribe enjoy the video keep watching all right y'all like i always say make sure you sterilize your hands have all y'all clean stuff out make sure you got your pots your pen whatever you're gonna use make sure it's right there for your easy access okay i usually fry everything outside in the deep fryer but today we doing it inside okay so i got my pepper jack my moderate jack i got my cream cheese half of that Worcester sauce however you say it <laughs> rice wine vinegar we got the sweet cooking oil. Then we got pure sesame oil. I got my soy sauce, which is the best brand. Got ginger, celery salt, which I have no idea what that tastes like. Paprika, that has no taste. Old Bay, <laughs> black pepper, minced garlic, onion, onion salt. What am I saying? Onion powder that I stole from my dad and good old salt and green onions, okay? Yeah. My dad was out picking lemons outside we have a lemon tree outside and he discovered that we have a, a orange tree as well back there so he just brought me an orange to try so i'll probably try that later and he's gonna bring me up some lemons to try too so smells good i gotta wash it but yeah let me wash my hands again because y'all know me i always gotta wash my million 20 times so that don't look like no lemon this is a, this is a big one these are smaller from different trees mm. why does this one look like it that's a big Ooh. one that's the one over there by the boat trailer, by the boat house. Yeah, this one smells strong. And this one is where I found the orange tree. And this one, they're two different little trees next mm. to each other. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, cool. That's a big lemon. Maybe that ain't no lemon. I don't, I don't, know. Think, I don't know if that's a lemon now. Smell it. Smells? No, it don't smell like a lemon. Mm. No, that ain't no lemon. That smells sweet, like an apple almost. No, I ain't Huh, that's a car. It's a lemon. Here, it's a lemon. You sure? Yeah, scratch, scratch it. It's like scratch and smell. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. Don't put it on here. <laughs> okay, later. Oh, here we go with this, cutting onions. You know what? I'm going to start wearing gloves because I absolutely hate the fact that my fingernails and fingertips just stay like, like smelling like onion for at least four days. It doesn't matter how much I scrub, how many spoons I try to scrub, all these little things that are on Google that tell you how to get the smell of onions and garlic off your hands don't work for me at least. So I'll be struggling. And my hands be smelling like onions for at least four days. And it be making me so irritated and upset. Like, I be soaking it in hot water and all types of crap. But I love onions. Like, I have to... Everything I cook has to have onions in it. You know what I mean? Well, as long as it's not... Okay. As long as it's not, you know, um, sugary or anything like that most of the time. It's, it's probably gonna have some onions in it but my eyes were struggling right here i'm telling y'all i wish they had green onions frozen maybe they do put me on game if they do mm, so good i wish y'all could smell this I wish y'all could taste it. Well, you can taste it. If you follow this recipe, let me know if you like it. You feel me? Why well, I got my pinky up? <laughs> mm. I 
I'm not even gonna lie to you, but I'm not a hundred percent sure what these like <laughs> what these ingredients taste like separately at least. I, I have no idea. I, I feel like together it creates a good taste, but apart it's probably disgusting, which you know most things probably are disgusting without mixing it into something. But I really don't know what it adds to the dish. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, I don't know if it adds a tanginess to it or if it makes it salty or if it gives it a little spicy. I have no idea. But just know, considering they're wontons, I just automatically thought to buy these things. And this is why it's going in there. Now, I love ginger. I don't think it made it taste any differently. But I love ginger, so I had to put it in there. And then celery salt, I don't know what this tastes like either, y'all. I bought this one time for a recipe. I don't even remember what the recipe was. But uh, obviously, you can't buy itty-bitty little shakers. So I had to buy this big old thing of celery salt. I don't even think I'll ever use it again. But this crab meat needed to be used. You feel me? I had been had it in the freezer for at least a good week. I don't know if you're supposed to refreeze crab meat, but... I was I needed to eat these so it was delicious <laughs> phenomenal outstanding I hope y'all make this for real though don't just watch me be creepy make this yourself so putting more pepper jack in there I honestly did not put enough cheese you see all that all I really tasted actually these were really nice and creamy but I tasted more of the cream cheese than I tasted any pepper jack or moderate so y'all go overboard with the cheese if you really like cheese and make sure you defrost your crab meat I'm so like I defrosted it a little bit but not enough to get all the crab meat out that I wanted so I used just a little bit just a little bit not not enough well, maybe enough, but I, I could have used more is what I'm trying to say. And I need to shut up because I just keep going on and on and on. <laughs> just keep watching, y'all. So, I don't know if you can hear all that noise in the background, but just know it's because my dad was cooking downstairs as well. And I don't know whose dog it is that be going crazy at 8, 9 at night, but I'm going to need the owners to figure it out because it's so annoying. It barks from freaking 8 p.m. to all the way to like 6 in the morning, this dog be barking. And I'm just like, how do your lungs not hurt, baby? Like, they have to. They really have to. There ain't no way. There just ain't no way. Anyway, what you're seeing is me just putting the water on the little um, wrappers and then put my cream cheese crab filling in there with my little green onions, which I added some more in there, by the way, because I love onions. But I'm just getting them prepared. Make sure y'all don't overfill them. If you do overfill them, do what I'm doing here where you just kind of put some in the other one and then just keep gradually adding stuff to it. Because if you overfill them, they're just going to break apart and it's just going to be like extremely greasy on the inside and you're going to hate it. So I also want to say this. There are certain ways that you can make wontons uh, taste good or however y'all say it. I don't know if people call them ragoons, whatever. I don't know the difference. I just know they're delicious. But you can make them with sugar, like make them sugar, ginger and some other little things to make them kind of sweeter. Or you can do it like how I did it, where it's more of a savory kind of treat. Treat? This is not a treat. More of a savory kind of appetizer. So my original reason for having all this crab meat, I have so much crab meat in my freezer, y'all have no idea. But it was for a party that I ended up not cooking for because I was just too busy. I already had other things I had to cook for, so I just decided not to. And yeah. That's why I decided to cook them now because I was craving them. And once you crave them and you got the money, you go ahead and get you some $20 crab meat from uh, Walmart. <laughs> and you go ahead and make you some wontons, you know? But 
I do want to tell y'all this. Make sure your, your deep fryer is at the highest heat that it can go safely. And um, make sure it's hot before you put stuff in there. Mine was hot. It just wasn't at the temperature I needed it to be. So when I first fried it, it came out nice and stuff. Some people probably eat their wontons like the way you'll see in a second here. But I and my family like them real crispy. So I had to deep fry them again after this but i just want y'all to see they float when they're ready when they're done it smells amazing looks amazing and it's fun i don't know why it's fun but it's fun it is fun to cook y'all isn't it it's fun to cook anybody that's watching this knows that I did not need no tongues for this. What do y'all, do y'all say tongues or tongs? What do y'all say? I say tongs. I just said tongues, but it's tongs. I don't know what I'm saying, but I did not need this for this. I could just pour these in there to be honest, but I just wanted to make sure they were a little bit separated. Um, but yeah, you see how white they came out? I really do need, I needed to refry them. They weren't bad as you can see, but they definitely were a little doughy. Mmm. Crusty lips. Look at this. Oh, dang shame. I'm going to definitely make these again. And I'm going to put the sugar in there. I'm going to do half, like probably savory and half sweet. Just so I can tell the difference. See what I like the best. Um, ooh, look at that cheese. Mmm. Phenomenal. All right, y'all, so I refried them as I told y'all, and this is how they're supposed to come out looking. They're supposed to come out looking real crispy and golden brown, and they were delicious. So I'm definitely gonna make these again for sure. This video is making me hungry. I hope y'all make them as well, and let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. The wontons were very good. I ate three or four of them already. That's <laughs> not how you said it, but okay. <laughs> My dad's chicken. Mmm, mm, this was slamming. Look at that. Look at the heat coming off that. Oh, delicious. Um, this was on the weekend. My mom and I went to Waffle House, got us some breakfast. My dad had already eaten, so we didn't get him anything. But I just want to know. I just want to know something. Do y'all get y'all eggs over medium? Or do y'all get y'all scrambled? What do y'all do? Do y'all mix y'all sausage in with y'all eggs and get it busting? Like, what? what is it that y'all do? And then what type of waffles do y'all get? I got the pecan waffle. I will never get that again. Not because it wasn't good, but because they overdid it with the pecans. It was like every bite had a freaking pecan in it and it was not popping. So, um, yeah. 
So one of my dad's longtime friends was in town for the weekend and he decided to take us to Red Lobster. Um, it was amazing. We actually got the crab shrimp ragoons as an appetizer as well as the stuffed mushrooms, which were phenomenal. The reason I even did this video in the first place was because of the ragoons at Red Lobster's. The sauce was amazing. They were amazing. And so I decided to do this video and yeah. That's a shrimp one, I guess. Yeah. That is hot. I should have to bag up off of it. Mm. <laughs> Again, another part of Pricey. And I'll be out with your lobster pizza. Oh, lobster pizza. The lobster pizza. Oh, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Cookie. Thank you, Cookie. Thank you. I mean, that's ain't all that. You mean ain't all that. I really need to venture out and try other meals and things on the menu because I tend to stick to what I know versus what looks appetizing to me. And all of these dishes looked amazing. It made me very jealous. <laughs> and I actually had to sit there for about 20 minutes watching everybody eat, unfortunately. Thank you. Mm. Y'all, I could usually tolerate Red Lobster's pizza, although I don't like lobster, but on this particular day, the lobster was just like in big chunks and it just was a whole no for me. Mm -mm. That's probably how I should order my food anyway. It's probably 20 minutes after I eat my appetizers because I can't eat much. It's not like the pizza was bad, it's just you'll see it the chunks were just too big but i appreciated it you know what i mean i w wasn't mad that it came out late but you know it was it was still good <laughs> this is the end of the video hopefully y'all make this recipe subscribe down below like comment turn on your post notifications please renee and i would really appreciate it and hopefully y'all are enjoying vlogmas i also hope y'all have a good night a good day and we will see you in the next vlog okay keep watching all of our videos keep getting familiar with renee and i keep chugging along with us um we really appreciate it and i will see you she will see you and toodaloo